Is that guy out there in the white? No, you don't. So about a year ago, I made a video like this and I figured even though the ability cards haven't changed, I wanna make an update to that video. I've gotten better at sniping and my opinions have changed overall. So I just wanna make a video to reflect those things. All three builds are very strong, so they aren't listed in any order. So let's hop right into it. My top three favorite PVP builds for 2021. For the first build, this is a build that I made a video about maybe a couple months ago. It's a double sniper slippery build. This is the build I play the most now. I wasn't sure how much I'd play it when I first made the video, but now it's my favorite. So with this setup, you want to use a short scope Carcano and a longer medium scope rolling block. I use the Carcano for 80% of my engagements. The sidearms don't really matter much here because of how you should position. You don't want anyone to be that close to you. But my main two picks would be the double Mausers or the sawn off shotguns. The rolling block is there for those really, really long snipes that the short scope just wouldn't work out. It has much better zoom and the bigger targets are just easier to hit. For the ability cards, you're going to use Slippery Bass to encounter Painted Black and Controllers. Sharpshooter, this is the best card in the game if you like to snipe. It gives you damage and damage reduction while looking down the scope. For the next card, you want to use Peak Condition for the better stamina because I like to stay mobile and it gives you a little extra damage for when you run out of Express Rounds. While running Double Sniper, you're going to use Normal Rounds more often than you think you would. Never worth that one for the last card. If people do end up trying to snipe you, and they will, you can have a chance to block the headshot. Yes, you take more damage when you lose your hat, but it also saved your life. You can use a beaver garment to re-equip your hat or posse outfit so you always fall with the hat on. For the next build, we got the Painted Black build that I run. It's the most aggressive of the three and it's the easiest to use. The weapons for this build are the Navy Revolvers. They cover that range between the Carcano and the Shotgun. The shotgun of choice, I use the Pump Shotgun. The next pick will probably be the Semi-Auto. The faster fire rate allows me to hip fire slippery players as they get too close. For the third weapon, the reoccurring choice, the Carcano. You could use a medium scope with this, but I've gotten used to the small one. The ability cards will be Painted Black to get the quick headshots. Sharpshooter, like I said, it's one of the most impactful cards in the game. For the third card, Fool Me Once. You get a lot of mileage out of this card. The more times you get hit, the less damage you take. It goes bigger with tonics. But the last card is never without one. It's just another great staple card. It won't save you all the time, but it does help. I'd also like to add that this card seems like it's more noticeable on free and PC than on controller. Last but not least will be my slow and steady build. It was the only build to make it to both videos. I ran this as a double sniper build with success too. Slow and steady got nerfed a while ago, but I still think it's one of the better builds in the game. The more consistent you are with landing your shots, the more oppressive this build is. The only time it feels weaker is when you get into those longer range fights and I miss a few shots and fall behind, but if I'm killing them fast enough, I don't have to worry about my movement speed. For your weapons, the sidearms will be your Mausers or your Navy revolvers. The shotgun, the pump shotgun works best. And you know we gotta keep the Carcano going. This build will have you drinking a lot of tonics and stacking minty big game being on top of this will make you an absolute monster. For the second ability card, you know I'm putting Sharpshooter in this build. I love the Carcano, what can I say? For the third card, fool me once. You're gonna get hit a lot moving at walking speed. You might as well take advantage of it. Never with that one. A lot of people put Iron Lung here. Yes, I'm aware while in slow and steady, you don't take lethal damage from headshots. But tell me, what are you gonna do when you need to move? Don't tell me you plan on waddling everywhere. This will protect your head while you're going from point A to point B. And those are my top three builds for 2021. In the videos I mentioned before, I'll have them linked in the description. Try them out. Tell me what you guys think of them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If I helped you out, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for the algorithm. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any bills that you think I should try out, let me hear them. I go live on Twitch, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The link to my channel will be in the description. So if you want to see any live gameplay, catch me there. Good luck grinding, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.